the way to church this morning, I hear this song from TikTok. I said, oh, that's the song from TikTok. What it is, oh, what's up? Every good girl need a little dog. Every black boy needs a little love. If he put it down, I'ma pick it up, up, up. You know, that, that song. And I'm like, oh, this sounds catchy, but wait a minute. I don't need a block boy. And then the way that she says block, that could easily be mistaken for black. A-E-A-O-U. And sometimes why A-E-A-O. The way that she sounds, her consonants are somewhere between A-O and block. So I can't even tell if she's saying A as in black with the New York uh, Southern accent, or is she saying block? I think this is just a tribute to hood black guys and a rebellion against women who say that they aren't going to have any more children. They want nothing more to do with those. They saw, you know, how it didn't work for our mothers. And, you know, this, it, a lot of Aaliyah R. Kelly type songs are going to come out in the media rebelling against us who say that we want to move on. Hence, Miss uh, Thing, who's supposed to be married, living in her chateau and against the foolishness, but we see that she's still for the foolishness, Miss Sierra. But let's look at these lyrics this is a blind reaction what it is ho what's up every good girl needs a little thug no <laughs> every block boy needs a little love now wait a minute are you trying to say block or is this code word for black now that you see that the internet is, is calling out black men for decades of degeneracy against us and games. Is Taraji P. Henson behind this? Guess who is featured in this song? Kodak Black. Kodak Black, the rapper who was filmed on video with his son teaching his son how to properly stick a woman in her vagina during sex. I mean, we don't have time for these games. We don't. <laughs> Can't you see it's just me and you. Panoramic view, that's my point of view, babe. All about me, that's the energy. That's the lemon pepper thing. It's a, I'm a 10-piece baby. Bedroom bully in the bando. Oh, okay. The second stanza is about the bedroom. We haven't even gotten to the third date. We're on the second date. We already talked about the bedroom. Okay. He gonna make it flip. Do it with no handle switching. Never switching sides. Only switching angles. Ooh, we go crazy like Rambo. Wait a minute. First he a block boy. And now y'all ain't even made it to the third date. And he has sex with you. Do we know if he has some money? Sex isn't sex doesn't feel good unless you feel comfortable that he has some money to take care of any potential child. Oh, I said it. Yes, I did. You can relax during sex if if you don't feel like if if you feel like you're gonna be another baby mom again. It's just not the same. Sorry. And I say again, you know, to speak about what's going on in our society. I do not have children. For you first time listeners. What it is honk what's up. Every good girl needs a little thug. Every block boy needs a little love. No they don't. They need to be called out. And another YouTuber said that. Too many black men. Are online yelling at us black women. Because the reality is. Their mom should have never gave their grand, their grandma should have never gave their granddad a chance to procreate because he was dusty. We have generations of young men out here that should have never been born. And society has rightfully swept them to the side 
because their parents did not invest in them and their and their grandparents and their terrorizing society and so now these young men are getting online upset at the world but you can't be arguing against the white man without losing your job you can't as a as a, a black person you can't get online arguing with any race of people you know randomly without losing your job or something happening to you so then black men say well we're angry some black men say we're angry and they turn to us because where are the consequences by the broader society though that is starting to change for even just bothering with women let alone black women um because we're black there's a little consequences but you know that's changing because people are seeing that you know hey these hood guys are are making Becky a baby mama and he's traveling to our high end community and and robbing the apple store like there are people on you know on tiktok and in other places standing up for us because they don't you know, us black women because they don't want they're tired of the terror you know starting to come to their community we got to stop this Aaliyah R. Kelly age ain't nothing but a number nonsense. We got to bury that stuff in the 90s. We were subconsciously listening to this stuff and it got us, you know, the lyrics and, you know, the frequencies and the lyrics subconsciously got us to lower our standards. And, you know, we didn't even know what we were singing in the 90s until now. We're retrospectively looking back at these R. Kelly, Jodeci lyrics and like, wait a minute. You can't keep a home that way. <laughs> Every good girl needs a little thug. Every bot boy needs a little love. Hit him up, hit him up in a truck, get it tucked. He get it up like it's stuck. All night I like you ain't gotta say when you know it's on sight. Uh it'll be on sight if I'm married to him and he's proven to me that he got some money in the bank. I seen his checks though. I met his parents. I met his family. I'm friends with his sisters. When I feel comfortable and then we get married, yeah, you ain't gotta say you know when it's on sight. If that is the person God designed for me to have Eros love with, Pharaoh Mono love with, plus he's proven some things that his money, his respect for me, and his love for me are all right, then yeah, then it's on sight. Simple attraction is not enough. Sorry, it, it's not enough. Uh, you know. You're living a single mother home again. Like, we're not doing this another generation. She got everything he wanted. A nice body, ass fat. Behind every gangster, a shorty solid that got his back. Mm, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Like, no. <laughs> like, Messi Michon says, dun, 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 dun. No, no, no. We're, not, we're not doing this again. He know who to come to every time the world handle him bad. The one he called first, but still he always put her last. Again, like I'm saying, who is marching in the street for these men? But did the men march for the lady in Louisville? Did they march for Sandra Bland to the extent that we as black women march for them? Have they marched for so many missing black women? But even the, even if a black man just like was pushed down on the ground and got one scrape, half the black black city is is marching for this guy, and it's like no 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 no, we're not doing this anymore. We're resting in our femininity. Don't call me to march. Like we're not doing that anymore. 
get you a man that would be willing to do that for you if you are actually a good citizen and it was justified. You should never require anybody to march or defend you when you know that you're in the wrong and it could risk their reputation. You should love somebody enough not to do that. And it's too many black men who have already been, you know, on the local police's radar and now the whole nation is marching for you. If you love your community, if you love your woman, if you love your nation, you would say, no, y'all, look, like some moms have started to come out and say, I'm tired of the vandalism every night in the name of justice for my son. This is not the way to go. Go back home. Go back home. I'm pouring out the glass, my body fighting off that gas. On smoke box, I kill him. That Zaza pack kick in my ass. In studio dozing. All I can keep from falling asleep. I hate that for you niggas. Ain't got no bread but trying to leave. Mm, terrible. No, ladies, we're not doing this hard life with these guys anymore. We're getting with guys who are in the church or in Bible study. They've been doing this since they were three years old. This is all they care about. We're not dealing with straight guys anymore. We're joining guys in the church. And we're getting to learn the Lord for ourselves as well. And staying calm and staying under the radar and staying quiet. Being black in America is the hardest thing to be. Now, wait a minute. How you going to say all this stuff? You run the street. You sleep with the wrong guy. And then you say being black in America is hard. It's hard because you make it hard. Not that it has to be hard. Every thug needs a little love too. Baby, how about me? Told her don't call me a stink because I smell like money. I'm putting down the greatest baby. Hold this here for me. I took her from a nigga. We vibing two weeks out the country. So she had a little situation, but I could tell it ain't about nothing now me and her rapping b b word she say don't hush me i i say don't rush me and i can tell how much she like a in by the way she suck it Ooh. no i'm good i don't care if you run the streets as long as you're coming home to me well, wait a minute is that from an SWV song? Like, y'all, we're not, we're not doing this no more. I love the way you walk and the way you speak. So what? So what? I'd rather take a dork and live in a calm home than marry somebody for swag that's going to get me on America's Most Wanted list. Like, that's not fun. He's going to keep it real. A Christian guy can keep it real too. A guy in his Bible study, he can keep it real too. And tell people how to better their lives. That's the reason I speed down. I put that all on my name. Yeah, that's an even exchange. Stay on your tail. We're going to tell him. We're going to tell him. We're going to tell him what it is. Ho, what's up? Back it up and do, do it like that. Yeah. Okay. No more sex talk. I what it is. I what it is. Jay White did it. More hits on the way. Yeah, we need a little love. No, you thugs don't need a little love. You need to die out. Your generation should have died out two generations ago. You know what it means. Ride out. Well, yeah, we're still not procreating you. We're not going to the cryo bank. We are not, um, yeah. We are not becoming single mothers by choice. You know, we're not taking the lowest quality black man just to keep it black and give the, and give the quote unquote bus driver a chance. 
all of you bros from the fraternity and you you know cryo bank fans and you what it is whole fans all of you can collectively shut the hell up happy sunday